what's up divas and divos so your girl april is back and we're gonna do this wig by a company i've already worked with which is in the fly on wigs now i do have a wig that's similar to this however this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal so you guys you may have a little bit more parting space but in the meantime i'm gonna cut this lace off and show you how your wig comes ladies so one wig grip to another i'm taking that one off and putting this one on i like the silicone whip grips better they just seem like they allow your wig to lay flatter now as i was saying i do have a wig that's very similar to this that one is a t part this one here is by the fly on wigs and this is a 13 by 4 now i'm thinking that the inches are like about eight this is 100 percent virgin human hair and it's supposed to be a loose wave, loose water wave curl. The curls are very loose, not like my other unit. So I'm going to be curling this one in a second. But for this one, you do have plenty more parting space. And on top of that, I like the fact that this lace is a really nice color. Like it, for some reason, the lace went well. So listen, girls, I went ahead and bleached it, pre-plucked it and all that good stuff. And this is a very popular style now, which is a pixie cut. Now, like I said, it's a 13 by 4. You see that scalpage up there. Do y'all see the scalpage? Y'all see that scalpage? Very nice scalpage. And I like the way the lace blended. So being that, I'm going to add some curls in this because the hair to me is not as tightly curled. It's very loose. And for this particular style, I wanted it to be a lot more tighter curls. The hair is very pretty and soft. And the highlights are bomb too. Now, like I said, I've worked with the fly on wigs plenty of times before, so you can check them out. They have many different wigs to choose from. And this one, girl, is super duper cheap, y'all. It is under a hundred dollars. Okay. You don't have to wear a pixie haircut in the summertime. Girl, you could wear that all year round. And honestly, I do like the short, short hairs. So y'all know my normal, my use. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the wig with my hairspray and blow dryer. I forgot that my blow dryer actually had this little light inside of it. So I was like, what is going on here? But anyway, the wig came out nice um, after I washed it and I bleached it and I plucked it. And like I was saying, the hair is very soft, silky smooth. And the texture of it is the loose wave, I do believe. But like I was saying, I'm going to be curling it with a very small barrel curler because I do want the curls to be tighter. Now, I was going to cut this and make it even shorter, but I wasn't really sure about that. So I just decided to leave it be. And do y'all see this scalpage? Like the lace is meltable, very nice lace, everything. It fit well. If you want to put an elastic band in the unit, you're free to do so. I didn't feel like I needed one, so I just left it as is. I'm going to definitely be putting some baby hairs in this unit because I like when it's short and curly like this. You could put some baby hairs up in this bad boy. Girl, overwhelming baby hairs, all right? Now, y'all know what I like to create my baby hairs with, which is my favorite styling mousse from the Dollar Tree. 
And I'm going to be quiet now because, you know, y'all know these steps already. So I'm going to just let y'all listen to some music. As you all can tell from the curl pattern, the, the curl pattern is very loose, but it all depends on what you want. So as you all see, this curling barrel is really small and I just take nice sizes and just twirl it around and have it and take it from there. Now the one thing that I did do was after I washed it, I did hang it upside down to dry. And normally when you do that, it'll give you more curls and more volume and make the curls just like even more juicier. But they just stayed like this. So this is the outcome of how I had it looking. And I'm gonna just take my fingers and just mess with the curls and just get them to be looser. Now honestly, I would have preferred to style this on a mannequin head because the hair is short. I didn't really want to be burning myself up, but you know, for video's sake, you know, I did show on myself, but if you do have a mannequin head and you want to curl and style any wig of yours, I would definitely suggest using a wig mannequin head. That will definitely speed up the process and also alleviate any type of burns you might get. Plus, it makes it so much easier when you do it on a mannequin block head to press the hairline. Them baby hairs is looking pretty sharp there, girl. You can't front. Y'all know they do. Look, y'all know they looking sharp. This is a really cute hairstyle, regardless if you have to curl it yourselves or if you wash it, it gives you the curls that you like. I like the fact that it's really cute. It's classy. It's so, it's so ladylike. It's very sophisticated. You can style it in various ways, even for the length of it. Shaggy in your face, girl. You know what I mean? You can make it fuller than what it is. You can make it non-fuller than what it is. I just like the way that it's shaped. I like the cut of it a lot. And because it's a 13 by four, you see that scalpage again right there. So I was feeling very sophisticated. It gives me like old vibes, old Hollywood glam vibes, okay? This is what the wig is definitely giving me, old Hollywood glam vibes, okay? And because it's a 13 by four, you can part it and style it on whichever side you want. I decided right here, let me try it kind of like flip back and see how it looks. So if you don't want to part, you don't have to. I just brushed it back with my curling wand and voila, there you have it, hunties. Still rather cute. This wig has potential, so much potential that girl, I'm going to be rocking this on and off. It's definitely going to stay in my collection. I don't know what to tell you guys. I love the short, short haircuts. It's very becoming. But you guys, you know the drill. I will leave all of the information down below for the fly on wigs. Let me know what you think of this unit. Is she worth it? Is she worth it? Is she worth it? Girl, under $100. I love you all. Make sure you share the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs it up. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. Bye.